Every day in organic chemistry classes, students are taught various chemical reactions. But how many of these students know that these reactions are used to create molecules which transform patients' lives while making millions in the process? Join me in this series as we dissect the top 200 pharmaceutical sales list 2022. We'll be exploring the syntheses of each molecule and discuss how they combat various diseases, including the synthesis of this cursed pharmaceutical. At 188 on the list, where a revenue of 339 million in 2022 alone is Cytolopram, sold under the brand name S Cytolopram. It is a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor used to help treat depression and anxiety disorders. This compound contains a chiral center and was previously sold as a mixture of enantiomers. In 2003, the patent for its production expired, allowing generic forms of the drug to become available. However, Lundbeck, the company responsible for the development of Cytolopram, have recently patented the S enantiomer of the drug, which have been shown to be the active enantiomer. This sparked controversy, as the company had effectively repatented the same drug they were previously selling, which stopped other companies making generic forms. This led to the brand name S Cytolopram, indicating the product contained only the S enantiomer. The synthesis of Cytolopram starts with the addition of a Grignard reagent into this cyclic ester. This ring opens the ester forming an alcohol and ketone group in the process. This allows for the attack of a second Grignard reagent, which forms a tertiary alcohol. Since there is no stereochemical control for this addition, it leads to a racemic mixture of enantiomers. These can be separated in the next step using diparatolyl d tartaric acid as a resolving agent. The single enantiomer is then treated with mesyl chloride, which reacts first with the less hindered secondary alcohol which can then be displaced by the tertiary alcohol, leading to the formation of the five-membered ring. Ryosiguat, sold under the brand name Adempass, is used to treat various forms of hypertension by activating the soluble guanyl cyclase receptor, which is involved in vasodilation. The compound was discovered and designed by Bayer and was approved by the FDA in 2013. The pyrazol ring is made by reacting a benzyl hydrazine with sodium ethyl cyanopyruvate, which tautomerizes in solution, allowing for a condensation with the hydrazine. This allows the secondary nitrogen atom to attack the nitrile group, closing the five-membered ring, with tautomerization leading to the pyrazole product. Next, the pyridine ring can be formed for a reaction with 3 dimethyl amino acrolein. The amino group on the pyrazole takes place in a 1,4 conjugate addition. Elimination of the dimethyl amine group reforms the aldehyde, which can act as an electrophile in an electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction with the pyrazole. Loss of a proton and elimination of water lead to the aromatized pyridine product. The ester is then converted to a primary amide and then reacted with trifluoroacetic anhydride to form the nitrile which undergoes a pinna reaction with sodium hypoxide and ammonium chloride to form an amidine group. This group is used to form the pyrimidine ring for a reaction with this dinitrile compound. The diazonium species can be reduced using rainy nickel to reveal the masked amino group. This amino group can be selectively reacted with methyl chloroformate due to it being the most electron-rich amino group as it is in the meta position relative to the nitrogen atoms rather than para like the other two. The final step involves deprotonation of the amide using lithium HMDS and methylation using methyl iodide. Next on the list is lorlatinib, sold under the brand name Lobrena. It is an anaplastic lymphoma kinase inhibitor that is used to treat cancers associated with mutations to this enzyme. The key advantage of lorlatinib is that it penetrates the central nervous system which allows it to treat cancers which have spread to other parts of the body, such as the brain. Lorlatinib might be described as a cursed chemical because it can't be drawn with the idealized bond angles and lengths like most molecules. This makes the structure look strange to chemists and hence described as cursed. The synthesis of the pyrazole fragment starts with a dibromination of the starter material using MBS and benzoyl peroxide as a radical initiator. The alkyl bromide can then be displaced using methylamine and was protected using Bok anhydride. The ester was hydrolyzed and converted to the primary amide, 
which could be reacted to the nitrile using trifluoroacetic anhydride. Primary amide acts as a nucleophile through oxygen to attack the anhydride, forming a good leaving group. The nitrogen lone pair can then be used to kick off this group, forming the nitrile triple bond. To make the second fragment, this ketone starter material is reduced using a chiral boron-based reducing agent. The stereochemistry is controlled by steric repulsion of a large aromatic ring and the axial methyl group. The alcohol was converted to a good leaving group for a reaction with mesyl chloride and substituted with 2-amino 3-hydroxypyridine. A palladium catalyzed carbonylation reaction was used to install the ester group and the final reaction was bromination of the pyridine ring using MBS. To join these fragments together, a one-pot borrelation and Suzuki reaction was used. Under these conditions, the bromide attached to the pyridine is more reactive to oxidative addition due to the electron poor nature of the pyridine compared to the pyrazole. This means the boronate ester is first formed of the pyridine, which can then react with the bromide of the pyrazole using the same catalyst system. To close the macrocycle, the amine is deboxed and the ester is hydrolyzed, allowing for an amide coupling to close the ring. The final compound for this episode is bromonidine, sold under the brand name Alphagan. It is an alpha-2 adrenic agonist used to treat open-angle glycoma. This is a disease that can lead to the damage of the optic nerve and loss of sight. The synthesis of bromonidine is very short. When these starter materials are treated with pocal 3 it first reacts with the cyclic urea to form an activated chloride species, which can react with the aniline in a substitution reaction. The next step is a hydrolysis to remove the acetyl protecting group, given the final product. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode and want to see more, check out the playlist in the description or at the end of the video. If you would like to help support the channel, be sure to like the video as it's the easiest way you can help. As always, references to papers used will be in the description. And if you have any questions, leave them below in the comments.